Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be etching a mirror for the first time using my Dremel tool. I wanted to bring you along for the process and share what I learned along the way. After cleaning off the mirror and trying to remove all the fingerprints that I could, I started drawing my design with a dry erase marker. I found that this works really well for a simple design. If you have something that doesn't have too, too much detail, this works just fine. It does rub off very easily, so you do have to be mindful of that while you are tracing over with your tool, but this was a great way to start and it worked really well for me. As you can see, your design does not need to be perfect, it just needs to be legible for you to go ahead and trace over it. This is the tool that I will be using to etch into the mirror. It is a Dremel Stylo Plus. You can see the bit there that I'm using, and this was on the highest speed setting. Now, the first attempt to trace over this design was not successful. I had to change bits a few times, figure out the speed that worked, and also figure out my pressure. I would definitely recommend using a medium amount of pressure. You need to push a little bit harder than you think you do. Although don't push too hard. You don't wanna risk cracking your mirror or the pen going out of control. Here I was pushing far too lightly and no lines appeared at all. I could hear scratching on the mirror, but when I went to check, nothing showed up. Now, when I went again with a little bit more pressure, right away you can see that these lines are appearing and dust is forming, the mirror is being etched. Safety tip number one, you really want to avoid dust inhalation. A mask like this that I'm wearing, a work mask, can be a little bit of an investment, but if you plan on doing this often, if you have other crafts that use fumes or dust, it will be well worth the cost. This larger bit that I have on was not successful for me. I wanted to have thicker lines around the outside of the leaves and I thought that this larger bit would be a way to achieve that. Unfortunately, it didn't work for me. I'm not sure if it was the mirror specifically or the bit was just too big, but I had to stick with the small bit to get the nice crisp lines that I wanted. So my advice when you're starting, the pressure is very, very important and the speed. I would go slow so you can keep as much control in your pen and in your hand as you can. The mirror is a little bit unpredictable. It's a canvas that I've never worked on before. So I had to get used to what it feels like and how the tool reacts to it. Take some time, get comfortable, and you can go over lines anytime when it's necessary to smooth things up a little bit. I recorded this video inside in my art studio, but I do prefer working outside when doing something like this and when I'm wood burning as well. Wood burning also creates a lot of fumes and even though I'm wearing a mask and not breathing those in, the fumes do go around the room. They settle on things, smoke and fumes, uh, even when you can't see them or smell them any longer, sometimes they do settle on the items around the room. And same thing with dust, there's little particles of mirror dust all over. I made sure to clean my space. You can see me often spraying the mirror with water and wiping it down with any old paper towel just to collect the dust as best as possible. And I also washed all my clothes right after this work. I wanted to avoid spreading these dust particles as best as I could. Safety tip number two is regarding glass. Remember that the glass is fragile. Be careful with handling it. You want to avoid cracking it. It's a heavier canvas than you might be used to. And also because it is glass, there's a lot of smudging that can happen. So I'm wearing gloves while doing this just to avoid getting the mirror all dirty as I'm trying to keep it clean. Here's a clip in real time so you can see the speed that I'm actually pulling this line at. 
As I'm sure you can tell, most of these clips are sped up to save time, but I'm not going nearly as fast as it seems sped up in the video. I'm taking my time trying to get smooth and crisp lines. Moving too fast caused me to be a little bit shaky. Moving too slow also caused me to be too shaky. So find the pace that works for you and really work on getting comfortable with this tool against the mirror. You can see how smooth some of those lines are coming out. Some of them definitely do have bumps in them. That's intentional because that's the way that I like to design my leaves. But yes, for the most part, I was successful in getting smooth lines. It really helped that I chose a design that I'm familiar with and I think that gave me the best chances for success. It wasn't too outside my comfort zone and it was fairly simple in my opinion. A little tip that I have is to be mindful when you are moving or rotating your mirror around. If your Dremel tool is on, there is a possibility of nicking your design. I put a little etch in a part of the mirror that was not supposed to have one, but thankfully the design that I chose led itself to changes. So I just drew another leaf coming out from the bottom there and traced over that. When you're learning something new, it's really important to be forgiving with yourself. Things might not be perfect the first time around. It might take a few attempts to finally see something that you like, but that's part of the process. Don't give up too early. Try to stay flexible and allow a little bit of room for those mistakes. Now I was having so much fun that I decided to add some details into the leaves. When choosing a design, you can add a decent amount of detail I found with this tool, but I knew that for my first design, I didn't want anything that I would have to shade. Shading with this tool will take a decent amount of practice to make it look consistent, to make it look even, so I would start with your first design, something that is just line work. You can definitely utilize line weight, textures, and patterns while you practice learning to shade with a perfect gradient. Never gonna leave this town But I'm packed up and gone Never looking back, not for two Safety tip number three is regarding the Dremel tool. Now the Dremel is a power tool, so obviously avoid touching the tips when it's in use, and I would definitely try to practice on a scrap mirror first if you are unsure. The sound of this Dremel is very, very loud. There are other videos I'm sure that you could see what it sounds like on my Instagram. There's a clip of what it sounds like to use this tool. I did not include it in the video because I wanted to spare all of the headphone users. It's very, very loud and a high frequency. I personally would recommend some ear protection. I wasn't wearing that this time, but the second time around etching a mirror, I definitely wore some ear protection. And always remember that just because something is crafty or creative doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. There's tools that I'm using here, materials that I'm not familiar with. Do research before diving into something new and be mindful of your health. A lot of people unfortunately learn the hard way about different materials and chemicals that they're using while crafting. So wrap me up and set me down I don't wanna be, wanna be found Wrap me up and set me down I don't wanna be, wanna be found a Having a little spray bottle full of water and a paper towel nearby was super handy for me. Not only was it helpful to clean the glass to reduce the dust particles going everywhere, it also was helpful to have a better view of the design I was working on. Here she is. I am super, super proud of my first attempt. As you can see, it's really hard to show the final result because of the double lines that the mirror creates, but I do my best to give you guys a good view. I definitely want to make a lot more of these. It was super fun and I hope you're able to try it out as well. If you have any questions, please, please leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them and let me know what you think of my first etched mirror. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!
feel 